To be clear, House Democrats are actually pushing a couple of plans to pay for medical leave, one that would cover pregnancy or other longer term medical conditions, the other that would allow workers to earn sick time. Both plans are returning to the Capitol conversation this year. I find that implausible. A House hearing showing the passions behind plans that would give paid medical leave to Minnesota's workers. We're going to be collecting premiums tax actually from employers for a year and a half before anybody would get a benefit out of this fund. Paying out um, without uh, having a, a fund to pay out of would, would create deficit spending. Representative Lori Halverson says her plan covers up to 12 weeks of paid time off after the birth or adoption of a child or to care for an ill relative by adding a small premium onto a worker's paycheck. She says that way the program pays for itself, allows small businesses to compete with larger ones for workers and gives workers what they deserve. Minnesotans leave almost half a billion dollars on the table each year with regard to lost wages from illness and uh, um, taking non-paid um, federal leave. But creating a state fund to cover a paid leave program has so far... I am vehemently in, in opposition to this. ...not received a green light from Republicans, who last year didn't allow the bill to go forward in the Senate. The alternative would be to reduce taxes on Minnesota businesses and Minnesota workers so that they have more of their own money to do more of what they're doing now, and that is taking care of themselves. Representatives will vote on the paid family leave on Thursday. It's expected to pass the House easily. But again, the big question is whether the Senate will even consider it. At the Capitol, I'm Carla Holt, CARE 11 News.